Hey, so I uh, did some work here, set out uh, to make a, a very clean alternate option for a battery solution for the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, I've seen some really Frankenstein stuff out there and I wanted something that would fit in the factory case. I wanted a battery that was two to three times the size of the factory Oculus battery. Um, that's a 5,000 milliamp battery. The one you're seeing on here now is 10,000 and then you can go up to 15,000 or even bigger. Um, I wanted to make kind of a universal thing that I could share with people. They could go to their local hardware store and uh, do it themselves inexpensively. Or I might even, uh, you know, maybe I'll throw these online or something and people can buy it. Because unfortunately most of the parts you got to buy in a 10 pack and you only need two. So it starts to add up. Uh, but anyways, I uh, wanted it to be clean. wanted it to be swappable. So basically this thing almost never needs to charge. You can just swap out the pack. But the main thing is I wanted to be able to get it into the factory case as you see here. Hold on one sec. Um, so there it is. I wanted to try to hide the wires. Um, the cool thing is, is these can slide up or down. So you can put a larger battery like this in if you want. Again, that's 15,000 milliamps, which is three times the normal Oculus backup battery. I can't say enough of the benefit of this thing being balanced like this uh, for eye focusing more than anything. Um, when there is no back weight to balance this unit, um, I had a really hard time getting it to focus on my eyes. The only way I could get it to work is to have this thing on my head really high where it didn't feel like it was supposed to be. The minute I dropped it down, it would start to get blurry. Now that it's back balanced, I can get where my head is supposed to be, um, but it allows the pivoting of the face portion to function. Without the back weight, you can't really pivot that face, it won't stay. Um, with it back weighted, I can angle it up or down and that's how I get my focus. So I think a lot of people fighting the whole eye separation thing, you might really want to try this first. Uh, so yeah, so basically this is designed, um, this comes right out, these pop up, Velcroed pops out, so you can swap in a second battery. I uh, wanted it to be clean, wanted to not see wires. So I'm going to share kind of all the parts that went into this. Everything's from Home Depot or Amazon. Um, but like I said, I'll probably do a kit. I wanted my kids to learn kind of how to do a business. So I might do a kit where you get all the parts for, I don't know, it's like 18 bucks. That's pretty much what you're going to spend at Home Depot on your own. But I'll have everything pre-drilled and you can slap it on yourself. But uh, yeah, it's been awesome. I love this thing. Uh, got these hand grips as well. Thanks to people recommending the right ones. These are fantastic. But yeah, Amazon batteries, I want to say this one was 17, that one was maybe 22. So all in, you're like 35 bucks for, you know, two times the Oculus version in battery power to three times. And again, you can swap them. So you can have just backup batteries pre-charged, slam it in, you're good to go. Uh, and again, it fits in the factory case with one little modification, that, that bridge thing that was there. I pulled that out, but now it uh, fits in. So uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to put up the parts and stuff and... Again, if you want some prepackaged, pre-made, I might fire those out if there's interest. All right, late. All right, so I'm gonna just do a quick thing here to show you guys how to make this. Um, basically, what's cool is it slides up and down um, for different size batteries. Again, you can go with this size or the 1500. Um, so they're clamps that are used in the electrical department. Um, they're three quarter inch cable clamps, Home Depot, quantity of six. They come like this. So the first step is to, hopefully my daughter's getting what my hands are doing, uh, cut off these tabs here and then nip off. You know, shape them how you want. I preferred it being a little uh, kind of rounded over. Um, so basically you need four total. So I'm not going to do that over and over again, but you get an idea. So then basically it's where you put the holes. So in this one you're going to keep that factory hole, but you're going to trim this so you're Sorry. Kind of closer there. Don't lose the hole, but trim it back. And then you're going to add a hole. You following, Layla? Mm -hmm. So on this one, the hole goes right about there. Push down hard first, or this thing will walk on you. Just start a little bit. Hold it up, spin it. Boom, there's your hole. The next one, so that represents, that is the bottom type. The top type, same thing, cutting off the terminal here. Clip, clip. I got some nippers, but I don't have them on me here. 
Okay, so on this one, you're getting rid of the top hole. So right behind that top hole, just kind of how this one is, now you're going to add, this one gets two holes. So you're going to put that right in the same spot. Again, push down with your drill first, almost dent it. Rotate slow. Pick it up. There's your one. That was a little elongated. And then the other one's right there. Push. That walks. So I'm kind of doing this fast. Of course, if you have a... Well, let's just pretend that works. Um, <laughs> for the sake of time. Uh, okay, so now basically you're set up like that. Um, this represents the bottom. So you want your zip tie to load from the back side through the bottom hole. Then through the top hole. Like that. Boom. Drag that all the way down because you want that to be hidden under your deal. I hate the looks of zip ties. If there's a way around it, I wouldn't use them at all. But there isn't that I know of. So come in, feed the bottom up. So you're in through the, oh, sorry. You're in through the bottom here. And then through the top hole here. All right, so that's what allows you to slide if I would have drilled that properly. Obviously I was in a hurry, so, but you get the idea. The reason we, oh, that's the other thing. You want to trim this. Let me just make a good one here, sorry. And first hole you want kind of close. About two white claws in right now, so maybe uh, that's my problem. Wing night. So we had uh, wings and white claws. All right. So that's what you're looking for. So see how that looks? I don't know if you can see there. Basically, you got about three sixteenths, quarter inch between the two, whatever. It's really arbitrary. It doesn't matter. Um, so you feed up through this one. And then through that. So now this slides up and down. That's what facilitates the two different size batteries. For the small one, you want to be right on top of that, basically. Nice and tight there. So I don't want to take mine apart. So get down low, Layla, so you can get the angle. But basically what you're going to do is, of course, go over the top, come through the bottom, you know, load your zip tie. You obviously know how to do that. Uh, you want the bottom to end up right here. That way it's uh, not seen. Uh, and then use your teeth and pull it really tight. If you notice, I line this up just outside of the rotary, rotary dial so it still works. But you got to be fairly close because of the radius here uh, for it to catch the battery. Uh, I hit that with Sharpie uh, on the inside to show that it's black. Uh, so then, of course, the uh, Velcro, I don't need to explain that. Sorry, I'm moving around fast lately. Make sure you stay on the device. Uh, so I put soft side in here, just two pieces you know, each, um, that of course, and then the receiving side here. So this again is how you can just swap this thing out. You're not stuck waiting ever for anything to charge if you don't want to. Um, the routing of the cable, I wanted it to where it naturally routed, but you have to make it work and slide on this thing as you go in and out. With this battery, you've got to compress this thing all the way down to make it fit in the case. So you have to be able to have this thing free slide. So I come up through the bottom, up on the inside, this is a wire guide also in the electrical department right here. And all these, you know, 260, 270, all these things are inexpensive. Then a small zip tie. So when you get these um, things, they're four-sided. I don't have my nippers out, but let's just say this is the one here. You're going to nip the top. Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, you're going to nip the side. Nip, 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 nip. That allows your cord to pass through and then you zip tie. So let's pretend this is the cord. The cord goes through here. Um, obviously it has an end on it, so that's just gonna be basically sitting in there. If that was your cord, and then you're gonna put your zip tie through here, which is gonna hold that where it's supposed to go. And these things are really sticky. They last forever. All right, so that path thunder went up. That's where it's uh, attached there. Hopefully you can see, can you see that later? There, so there from there it went over the top. I forgot to mention this, but on either of the two main straps that you put this thing on with, you want to put a zip tie, don't tighten it yet, but get it knuckled in 
behind that um, and just leave it. That's going to be your slide guide for your wire. If you see there, as this thing opens and closes, the wire wants to stay natural in its position. Uh, you know, as you spin it up or down. I wanted it to where, you know, basically that wire doesn't show itself no matter what you do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, you're sitting at about $17, bucks, $18. With, with this thing, you're pushing 20 you know, and I put the links on Amazon. But, you know, you got to buy, you know, a pack of these. If you already have all this stuff, then you've only got a few bucks in it. But you only need one of these and you got to buy, a, you know, a pack of 10 sort of thing. So that's kind of the sucky part. Um, but other than that, man, I can't say enough. If you see this, how it balances for focus on the eyes, for comfort, um, more weight is better, believe it or not, because it's, it's just counterbalanced. It kind of zeroes itself out. And as a total weight, it's really not that bad. When they keep trying to drive down the weight of goggles, it's because when it's just on the front of your face, you feel every ounce because it's, it's not balanced. So no matter how you skin this cat, whether you go with the Oculus version, um, night and day difference, especially if you're going to hand this off to other people, because half the challenge is people getting it to get in focus. So if you're going to share this with family members or whatever, build something like this or get the built-in battery pack. Um, but yeah, hopefully that explains it to you. Again, you shouldn't have more than 17, 18 bucks in it. The battery is $16. This one, this one I think is 20. Uh, the links are on there and I uh, hope this helps and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm kind of new to this whole thing. So if you want to play some games, hit us up and We'll, uh, I don't even know how to friends request, but we'll be happy to play with you guys. All right, take it easy.